For this example, what we're going to do is we're going to sketch y equals 2 to the x and y equals 3 times 2 to the x. Okay, so I like doing a lot of these problems and trying to do this fairly quickly. It looks like I'm saying that this function hits the x-axis and it doesn't. It just gets really close. So what happens when you multiply a function by a positive number? If that number is greater than 1, what happens is, is it stretches the function out. Um, but I think, I think a really good way to look at this is just simply by plotting some points. Here, I just plotted very few points. If I multiply the function by 3, I'm just going to take all of those points and multiply them by 3. And in particular, I think it's important for us to see that when you multiply, um, when you have x is 0, you get 2 to the 0 is 1, and you multiply by 3, and now you get 3. But for negative 1, you still have 3 times a half. It's down here. I didn't go any further, but if you had 3 times a fourth, it's down here. 3 times 8, down here. So multiplying by 3 does not shift the function. It multiplies all these numbers by 3. The, the horizontal asymptote has an equation y equals 0. You can think of it as a sort of a memory device of saying, well, I multiply everything by 3. I can multiply the horizontal asymptote, in a sense, by 3. So if it's y equals 0, I multiply... Sorry. Yeah, no, I multiply by 3. If y equals 0, you multiply by 3, and you still get 0. And uh, so this, this whole thing goes like this. So what is what looks different? They're both increasing. They both have the same horizontal asymptote. The, the y-intercept... is 0, 3. I don't feel like I need to write that down because it says that right here, but it's just so important. That's what that does. That's what multiplying by 3 does. It changes the y-intercept. Everything else stays the same in terms of the horizontal asymptote, and it's still increasing. I mean, it's not exactly the same, but the general shape is, is very similar. So here we'll sketch y equals 2 to the minus x and 3 times 2 to the minus x. 2 to the minus x looks a lot like 2 to the x, except it's a reflection around the y-axis. It's decreasing. Multiply by 3. What happens to this? Looks very similar. Here we have the horizontal asymptote y equals 0. Multiply 0 by 3 and we get horizontal asymptote y equals 0. But what's the big difference is the, the y-intercept becomes 3 now. They're both decaying. Notice this is 2 to the minus x. If you have a, a number greater than 1 to the minus x or of number, negative number times x, it's going to be decreasing. Still we have that. We have 2, a negative number times x, so it's decreasing. Um, I wanted to zoom out on this.